हाय फ्रेंड वेलकम टू माय एजुकेशनल चैनल मैथ ए टू जेड देयर इज सो मेनी मेथड टू फाइंड द सॉल्यूशन ऑफ सेकंड ऑर्डर लीनियर ऑर्डिनरी डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन and i am going to discuss how to solve a second order linear differential equation by the method of factorization of differential operator or the method of operational factors okay to discuss this method we take a general linear second order ordinary non homogeneous differential equation right this is general linear second order non homogeneous differential equation and by using differential operator it can be right as d square plus p into d plus q into y equal to r right and it also can be written as f of d into y equal to r sometimes not in all case sometimes f of d be possible to factorize like f to d into f1 d and this is equivalent it is important to trace the fact that this product is not always commutative so we must be operate from the right side of the operator right now the equation becomes f2 d into f1 d into y equal to r we first let this this is equal to b then small b then we can write f2 d into v equal to r then from this equation we can easily find v and we put the value of v in this equation we can find the value of y that is we can find the complete solution of the differential equation now explain this method we consider here two important example to solve by the factorization of differential equation method so factorization of differential operator method right now we consider the first equation as x plus 3 into d square minus 2x plus 7 into d plus 2 into y equal to x plus 3 whole square into to the power x now it is clear that it can be written as minus 2 into x plus this is d And minus d 
प्लस टू इंटू वाई तो टू एक्स प्लस थ्री था वो स्क्वायर इंटू इट इसे पॉर्ट एक्स सो एक्स प्लस थ्री इंटू डी इंटू डी माइनस टू दिस कैन बी रिटेन माइनस वन इंटू डी माइनस टू And this is x plus three into d minus one into d minus two into y. That so is x plus three whole square into it is equal to x. Now we put d minus two into y equal to v. Then from here we get x plus three into d minus one. Into v equal to x plus three whole square into the power x. And clearly, this is first order linear differential equation. So it can be written as dv by dx minus v by x plus three equal to x plus three into the power x. And integrating factor of this equation is e to the power Minus one by x plus three dx. That is one by x plus three. Now multiplying by the integrating factor, both side, and integrating, we get this is v by x plus three is equal to integration e to the power x dx plus c one. That is e to the power x plus c one. So we can write v equal to e to the power x into x plus three plus c into x plus three. Now we can put the value of v in this, this relation, and we get d minus two into y equal to e to the power x into x plus three. Plus c1 into x plus 3. This is c1, and it is it is also again a first order linear differential equation, and clearly integrating factor is e to the power minus 2x. So again, we multiply both side by the integrating factor, and integrate we get the complete solution as. Y e to the power minus two x equal to e to the power minus x into x plus three plus c one into x plus three e to the power minus two x. This is integration. Here is also an integration dx plus c two, and here is an dx. So by integrating, we get the result as. Minus x plus four into e to the power x minus c one by eight into two x plus seven plus c two e to the power two x by multiplying both sides e to the power two x. And this gives the complete solution. Okay.
now we consider second important example as 3x squared square plus 2 plus 6x minus 6x square into d minus 4 into y equal to 0. Clearly, if we write, if we write as d into 3x squared d, then by differentiating this with respect to x, we get 3x squared d square and also 6xd, right? Because d of x square into d fixed plus 3x square into d of d, that is 6xd plus 3x square d square. So, we write the result as 6x squared d plus 2d minus 4 into y equal to 0. And it can be written as d into 3x squared d plus 2. Here, minus of 2 into 3x squared d plus 2 into y. And this is d minus 2 into 3x squared d plus 2 into y equal to 0. For verifying, we can d minus 2 operate on this and we get the result as the given. Okay, so this is right, right factorization of this. Now, as above, as previous example, we put this is equal to G and we get D minus 2 into V equal to 0 and this is DV by DX minus 2 equal to 0 and this is V equal to sorry, 2v here, dv by v minus 2 dx equal to 0 and from this by integrating we get p equal to c1 into e to the power 2x. Now put the value of v here, we get 3x square d plus 2 into y equal to v that is c1 e to the power 2x then we get dy by dx plus 2y by 3x square equal to c1 into e to the power 2x by 3x square and this is first order linear differential equation with integrating factor is equal to e to the power integration 2 by 3 x square dx this is e to the power minus 2 by 3 x by multiplying integrating factor and integrating we get y into e to the power minus 2 by 3 x is equal to c1 into integration e to the power 2x minus 2y 3x by 3x square into dx plus c2 and this expression cannot be integrated so we get the result as y equal to c1 e to the power 2y 3x into integration 1 by 3x square e to the power 2x minus 2y 3x dx plus c2 into e to the power 2 by 3 and this is the complete solution of 2 of the second example right so friend thank you thank you for watching and this is the today's class